The winds of change are blowing through the Maverick Center as scoreboards, including four jumbo screens above center ice, are being installed for the 2022-23 hockey season. Grizzlies Vice President Jared Youngman. It's all fan experience. It's all getting people to come in and have a better experience, which, you know, affects the players and they're playing the ice because they're hearing the fans going nuts. When fans come in here and they see the new ribbon board, they're bigger. They've got the big video boards now in the middle that everybody's been asking for for years. Um, you know, just the, the, the light that's going to come from it is, and what they're going to see is uh, going to change the experience uh, drastically. There is not a bad seat in the house. I mean, you can sit row one, you can sit row 23. Uh, there's not a bad seat. And that's the beauty of, of this building. It's made for hockey. Yeah. And so you're going to come in here, sit wherever you want to sit. You're going to have a great experience. You know, if you sit down low, you're going to have the players come and hit you right in the boards. You sit up high, you're going to watch the whole game uh, just, you know, play out in front of your eyes. Changes at the Maverick Center mean practice moves down the road to the Acord Ice Center. And with the Rapid City Rush in town to open the season, the Grizzlies are working hard to get ready for the weekend. Team building is a big emphasis for the Utah Grizzlies, and no better way to bring some fun and camaraderie to the club than having a golf tournament. For 18 holes, the Utah Grizzlies went head-to-head -to, -head to see who can hit it straight and far, or in some cases, who spent the afternoon divot digging and donating balls to the water hazards. It's all about the speed. All about yeah, the dude. Pace. Slow down. Chips of dynamite. Big time. A cookie? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's the sound. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Woo! That's awesome. <laughs> Hang on. Oh boy. Oh, be good. Get over. Oh, oh for God's sakes. <laughs> So I think the the most important thing is that you you and then your heat right, right, but you have to. What about the hips? Of course, what do they do? Thank, yeah, here and then make sure you tuck and then okay. that's where yep. you get the spin off the yep. hill, and then you just pick it up for birdie. <laughs> And then you just pick it up for first. Back at the Maverick Center, it was time to name captains. Ryan Kanasiewicz and the Utah Grizzlies selected defenseman Connor McDonald to wear the C on his chest this season. Oh, he's awesome. Yeah, great human being, great teammate, um, outstanding hockey player, and we couldn't be uh, more satisfied with uh, and more honored for him to wear the C for us. Mac was a guy that when a lot of us came in late last year, made us feel really welcome, made us feel like we're part of the group right away. And as a guy we kind of looked to for advice and kind of guidance as we got adapted to pro. So super excited for him, you know, deserves it and we're all happy for him. Coming from college to pro, you know, just how you conduct yourself, how you handle yourself. You know, you're not so much, I say, guided as far as what you do off the ice, as far as stretching and getting to the gym. And he's a guy who kind of took us under the wing and said, you know, hey, after practice, this is what we do. You know, before practice, this is what we do. You know, during the game, 
how you handle those highs and lows when things aren't going your way when they're going super well you know keeping that even keel he was a guy on the bench always talking saying hey you know let's settle down here or, you know don't get too high when we get up a couple goals and you know that was I think a big part of why we did so well in the playoffs last year so so what does yeah. it mean to be captain feels good uh, we got a good group here uh, anyone could have had it got a lot of pros in that locker room so yeah I'm super excited um, it's an honor it really is have you been a captain before like yeah I was uh, back in junior uh, had um, a little leadership in college too but uh, was a ca assistant last year and just so happened that uh, captain this year and same thing we're gonna keep going trying to uh, pick up where we left off It's opening night for the 2022-23 ECHL season. Expectations tend to define seasons and careers, and for the Utah Grizzlies, expectations are very high. Will the Grizzlies raise their bar and meet the challenge of being the hunted in the Mountain Division? Professional sports can be a cruel beast for the athletes who choose to chase their dreams, and for some, it is the beginning of their life's work, but for others, it's the beginning of the end of their dreams. That's the harsh reality of sports. For each member of this team, they have an idea of what this season could be, and tonight starts their journey. Will it be one they look back on fondly? Because every man on this bench has a job to do, including trainers, equipment staff, coaches, and players. Every single man matters. Are the Utah Grizzlies up to the task in front of them? We're about to find out. Opening night did not go as planned. The Grizzlies lose the game 5-3 to Rapid City, who finished just behind Utah last season. The Grizzlies fell behind 3-0, then mounted an incredible comeback to tie it at 3. Rapid City would add a fourth goal, then an empty netter to seal the win. The Utah Grizzlies are 0-1. Head coach Ryan Kanasiewicz. Just some sloppy play, uh, especially early on. Obviously, uh, you know, three goals in the first five shots tough one to dig out of. I mean, we dug out of it, but uh, I thought we took it to him for a majority of the game, but uh, if we can put together 60 minutes tonight, that will should seal the deal for us. You get Lucas Preak between the pipes tonight. Obviously, Rapid City is his former team. He would not talk about it. He said, it doesn't matter. I'm here to help the Utah Grizzlies win tonight. You must be happy with that attitude. Yeah, I mean, he's probably not saying that he wants to beat his old team. I'm sure he does, but uh, obviously, if he's saying that, that's what we want from our group. And Excited to see him uh, get the net tonight. No feelings, but yeah, I'm ready for the game. No feelings? No feelings. This is, this is part of the game. It's part of the business. No feelings here. When your opponent is as familiar as Rapid City is to Lucas Perique in the Utah Grizzlies, you can't just turn off your feelings. The events of the past simply won't allow it. But you can be in the here and now, and tonight is a must win for the Grizzlies. Grizzlies got off to a fast start, taking a 1-0 lead on a Terran Pfizer first period goal from Ben Tardif and Andrew Nielsen. 
It was exactly what the Grizzlies needed to capture the moment and control the game. It was 1-0 Grizzlies after one period, but there was no intermission celebrations. The Utah Grizzlies know the second period is going to be a battle. When Ryan Kanaswich came in the room, the message was clear. Play our game and we win the game. Rapid City came out with a clear goal. Get physical and knock our old friend Lucas Parikh out of his comfort zone. Late in the second period, a high sticking penalty changed the momentum of the game. Taryn Pfizer would draw the penalty, a four minute double minor, and open the door for a wild finish at Maverick Center. Unfortunately for Rapid City, a couple of stitches was not going to slow Taryn Pfizer on this night. Rapid City and the Grizzlies would trade penalties to start what turned out to be a very physical third frame. Rapid City took the third period to another level with this hit on Cameron Wright. Wright and the rest of the Utah Grizzlies showed their toughness and then some on this night. Zach Sekos would score on the power play, and Taryn Pfizer added a second goal that sealed the win for the Utah Grizzlies.
Jared. Uh, Jared. Game puck here. I'm going to give it to Jared Pike, his first pro win. Yeah. We not make it that stressful every time, please. <laughs> uh, awesome, awesome uh, effort tonight, boys. It was. Uh, it's good to get that first dub, and let's go take care of Boise. Eh? Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, a lot of guys get it, but sex. Right yeah. Yeah. The Utah Grizzlies learned a lot about themselves on opening weekend. They showed toughness, grit, and determination, but they also showed that they're up for any challenge, home or away, and they will be challenged. With an eight-game road trip through Idaho, Kansas City, and Allen, the Utah Grizzlies won't return home until just before Thanksgiving against Idaho on November 17th. 26 days away from home, that's life in the ECHL.